The PGA Tour Netflix documentary Full Swing official trailer just released. Let's go ahead and do an instant reaction. Every year, all these guys fight for their career. If you're going to be a professional golfer, you have to accept the fact that it's just going to be a wild ride. I love the fact how they're setting up kind of just the drama of the PGA Tour in general while teasing in some of the live golf players. Okay, probably could go with a little bit less Ian Poulter already again. Uh, he was the star of the last uh, trailer. I already saw him twice. Interesting choice. There. You don't know what's going to happen. I might win 50 more times in my career. I might win zero. Like, that's just the reality. So I just, I love the interview styles that they're going to do. We saw Rory in the first one. Now JT just now. Like, it's just kind of a cool open book type of interview. Like, we're getting type of interviews that we typically wouldn't get, which is pretty awesome to see already. Reality. The PGA Tour consists of almost 50 tournaments a year. You win tournaments, you can make millions. You awesome. lose, you walk away with nothing. Oh yeah, this. I mean, this is a fun clip. I already memed it once. Uh, it was funny. The day before the trailer came out, or the day of, uh, Ian Poulter was very mad about people not mentioning uh, happy birthday to Sergio Garcia. And so the meme was, when nobody wishes Sergio happy with birthday. Nothing. I'm going to punch you in your ribs. You told me on Tuesday you're going to make a million dollars. You picked a hell of a year to start following the PGA Tour. Really yeah, guys. So what he means by that is they actually started this um, going back to COVID for the Players' Championship. It was like that's when their first event was. And they had to cancel the the tournament because of it. And they were kind of the first sport to really have to do that. And so we get the COVID stuff to start off the, tri the Netflix documentary which is also going to be fun. And then we also get into kind of the live golf stuff. Live golf is a spinoff tour, um, which kind of has some, I don't want to say political stuff behind it, but for those of you that don't know, um, some backing financially that people don't agree with. And it's also kind of they're they're purposely trying to disrupt the PGA Tours traditions. And so a lot of people don't like it because of that. They're kind of trying to ruin the game of golf to grow the game of golf. You guys can decide really for yourself, but that's the story that they're going to get into. <laughs> The highs are really high and the lows are really low and live somewhere towards that top. You have a pretty phenomenal career. Our first couple of years together, he was winning left and right, but I do worry about the future. He was like the thing with Bruce Kapka's career. It's, it's very strange. Cause like overall, I don't want to say it's bad, but like the guy just turned up in majors to the point where it was strange. Like wouldn't do well in regular events. And then all of a sudden do well in majors. So that's a lot of things that like normal fans or not even normal fans. That's the thing that uh, golf fans, non-golf fans probably wouldn't know. Is that like Bruce kept a big major winner, you know, besides that kind of had a weird streaky career in there. And so that's what his wife is touching. I think his wife now is touching on. You win two majors of your first eight tries. I want them all. You want to win a major if you gotta have <laughs> just going back to it uh we see the two different hairstyles of brooks there it was Winning kind of a weird thing right, that he did but i do um worry about the he future randomly died his hair you win each blood. i do couple years you have a pretty phenomenal career our first couple of years together he was so there years together he was so he like randomly died at beach blonde okay uh so just an interesting thing there winning left and right but i do worry about the future you win two majors of your first eight tries i want them all you want to win a major, you got to have faith and trust in all it's parts of your game. I would tell anyone that would listen that I was going to be the best golfer in the world. That's all I want, just win. It's win or go home. There is a power home. struggle going on in golf. You've got this existential threat to the game of golf and the Saudi back. You've got All right, this so now they're getting into live golf. There and is so part of the reason why I think we're going to see a lot golf. of Poulter is because he is someone that's probably willing to kind of speak his mind and kind of play into, I guess, the villain narrative of it, you know, um, of live golf. And so I think that's why we actually saw a lot of Ian Poulter in the first trailer uh, was simply the fact that they're playing into that a little bit more. And like he typically does give a good interview, so it makes sense. Golf. You've got this. So now we're getting into the live golf side of it. So I think the first part of the documentary is kind of going to be telling you guys what the PGA Tour is about, kind of the lifestyle of it and whatnot, uh, getting into the COVID a little bit. And then kind of the second half is going to be a little bit of this live drama. This existential threat to the game of golf in the Saudi back league called live golf. Okay, there you go. It's a Saudi back league. I didn't know if they're going to get into it. Um, a lot of people are turned off by it for that fact. An astronomical. Um, a lot of people are also turned off and you heard it kind of. Existential threat to the game of golf in the South. It's a threat to the game of golf. What they're trying to do is they're assigning a bunch of big name players that are a little bit past their prime or that the PJ Tour 
doesn't coddle pretty much. And don't don't get me wrong. They have Cam Smith. They have other like really elite players. And they're also signing young players as well. So there is the potential for a tour like this to be successful. But right now, they're just throwing a bunch of money at it. And they don't really care about making money back. And so they're doing all this stuff to kind of disrupt the PGA Tour. There actually are rumors that they are purchasing land near Augusta National to host an event the week before or the week after the Masters. So that's a pretty clear indication that they are, they don't care about growing the game of golf. They are actually trying to do the opposite right now, at least in the United States. You could say worldwide they are. I don't want to get into that. I don't want to give you guys my opinion too much. Let's just get into the back league called Live Golf. They're throwing astronomical money at people and everything's got a price, I guess. I understand. I'm going to get shipped. So he's going to get shit and let's hear this. For it. And I'm totally cool with that. So literally like as this trailer dropped, it's like the year anniversary of a fun Brooks Capco. Uh, tweet. And let's see if I can pull that up, actually. So here's like the things that they like responded with. And this is why people don't really like some of the answers that the live golf players were given. It's pretty clear for a long time now that I'm with the PGA Tour. That it's where I'm staying. And he said this during the Waste Management Phoenix Open, which is going to occur this week. I'm very happy. I think they do things the right way. People I want to do business with. And then so there was another thing is like right before the US Open last year, right before he signed, everyone knew he was going to sign. He says, I haven't given it much thought, honestly. I don't understand. I'm trying to focus on the US Open. He was getting questioned about it because there are reports coming out that he was going to sign. And then he ended up signing like the next week. And so for a lot of people, got a that's price, why yeah. they're getting rubbed the wrong I'm way with get lit. shit for it. And I'm totally cool with that. Like, let's be honest. He probably deserved the shit that he was getting. Straight up. Are you going to live? Oh, the PJ tour is the best. Oh man, that is super interesting. So this is before and live. I'm totally cool with that. This takes place before live. Straight up. Are you going to live? Oh my goodness. That is awesome. I thought this would be after he signed with Liv. That is extremely interesting. Look at that look on his face. Ian Poulter, he's definitely the villain of this this series. Villain in quotes. I know the the overseas people, the cross the pond people are going to be a little bit uh, mad at me for saying that, but it's true. I mean, everyone can see it. I mean, that is a villain smart. That's why they're putting it in there. I mean, come on. That is exactly what they're doing there. And he's playing into it. That's exactly what it is. The PJ Tour is the best place to play golf, but the game needs to be pushed forward. And so what I find very interesting about this quote is they might be like pushing it up to actually be a live versus PJ Tour with this quote here, guys. And let's listen back to it again. The PJ Tour is the best place to play golf, but the game needs to be pushed forward. The game needs to be pushed forward. So what is he actually probably referring to in that clip? Well, him and Tiger Woods start up the TGL, which is going to be kind of a uh, a somewhat like virtual data type league that's going to coincide with the PGA Tour. And so that is what Rory is talking about. All the golf, professional golf players would say that the PGA Tour did need to make some improvements, okay? And there are different ways to grow the game of golf. This is the way that Tiger Woods and Rory see the way to grow the game of golf. So we're getting like the two biggest names in the game of golf and they're starting up the TGL. So although they're teasing this quote to probably be live versus PJ Tour, it could very the PGA well be Tour is the best place the to play golf, but the game needs to be pushed forward. And that's, I think that's why we're golf, seeing the, but the game right needs there. to be pushed okay. forward. Like that's why we're seeing this clip right here. The game needs to be pushed is the TGL part. Okay, the data enriched the virtual golf course that'll be coming out next year. Forward. It's competition at the end of the day. They want to step on my foot. Be pushed forward. It's competition at the end of the day. Nope, that's Rory. Okay. Competition at the end of the day. They want to step on my throw. I want to step on there. I am actually very at the end of the day. Excited was, to see the training that goes into the PGA Tour stuff because this is something that really started up with Bryson DeChambeau, who Bryson DeChambeau actually elected not to be a part of the Netflix. Netflix full swing documentary because he has his own YouTube channel. And honestly, it didn't really make sense for him to be a part of the full swing Netflix documentary because he already has his own YouTube channel kind of dedicated to going over stuff in his personal life. So it did make sense. Step on my throat. I want to step on theirs. Don't worry about me. You just. Oh. So what's interesting is that apparently DJ like lives across the, the lake here from Brooks, who's I'm assuming. This is. Don't worry about me. You just play your game, man. Joel Damon, he's like everyone's favorite. Uh, I shouldn't say everyone's favorite, but he a lot of fans like him. Okay, he gives a lot to the golf community, interview wise and whatnot. Um, he's a fun, likable guy. He won an event last year as well, so that's why he's part of this. That's why they're highlighting. Shit's about to get fun. They swore a lot. To get fun. Tell Joey to move his fucking cart. To get fun. And this is Brooks, right at the Waste Management Phoenix Open, his last Play time your game, man. Which is an event that he loved which is event that's going on this Shit's week, which is Shit's about to get fun. Yep. 
Tell Joey to move his fucking cart. I'm trying to get my big break, player. You need to go to the putting green. Overall, it looks like an awesome documentary. It, it does. It looks like it's going to be a super fun documentary. And that's it. Okay. A million dollars. So obviously they're going to play into the live aspect a lot of it in a lot of this video. And kind of the unfortunate side of it is this is very well going to be the last time that we see a lot of these golfers together in kind of the same video setup. Um, you know, DJ Brooks, seeing them playing together with some of these other greats. And that's kind of the unfortunate side of kind of the live aspect of it. But it is super fun. Going to be a fun document. I'm excited for it. Drops shortly here. Nine days away. It's going to be a fun, fun thing to watch uh, this February.